Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Um, much appreciated. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the reading. Uh, this is a general collective reading for your sign. We've got sixth house coming up for you. We've got ninth house. And we've got fourth house. So it looks like work and daily routine, your lifestyle, international travel or long distance travel or possibly learning, higher education. Um, also faith and intuition, the law, legal things. And then we've got the fourth house, uh, which is the house of home <coughs> and family. Let's get some um, astrological guidance. Looks like you're very busy in your daily routines, Cancer. And we've got Virgo. Um, bottom of the astrological deck is Mer Mercury retrograde reinvention. So that's the energy of that. We've just come through. Um, Mercury retrograde season, but the next one will be the 29th of May. Uh, it starts a wee bit before that. There's a little bit of a drag before that. Let's get some um, goddess guidance now. As I said, some legal issues, so that looks like um, there's some legal situations or negotiations going on. And then we've also got Diana coming in. Bottom of the um, goddess deck is Mother Mary, expect a miracle. So whatever is happening, whatever is causing you distress, um, it's being handled. Let's get a destiny card for you now. Harmony, lovely. Let's get a fairy tarot. Ten of summer. Lovely card. Bottom of the fairy tarot is um, seven of autumn. All right. Okay. All right, so um, let's start here with the uh, sixth house. So this is the house of your work life, uh, your workplace, your work routines, um, also your work projects. Um, and it can also be mastery of your craft. So if you don't go to a workplace or you're not involved in directly in, in, in that sort of environment, then this can be mastery of your craft, whatever it is that you do. Uh, what, and, you know, and this can even be a hobby, but it's normally something that you're engaged with in your daily routine. Um, all of that comes up, but also your health, your diet, your well-being, your life force, you know, that's everything that goes with that. And also your lifestyle and your, um, you know, the, if you, you, the way you're creating your life around your daily routines. Um, it can also be um, the house of pets, so that may be applicable for some of you. Now we've got here um, Capricorn I use, and then we've also got um, uh, Ericura uh, Blossoming. So um, this is all about... This card, uh, Ericura, um, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up, okay? So this is just saying that whatever is happening in this house, uh, whether it's work-related or health and diet and well-being and lifestyle-related, 
um, or it could be both. Um, it could be, you know, you may be striving for balance in that. Um, Capricorn I use, this is saying that you're working very hard, all right? Or you may be needing to goal set at this time. Um, the I use energy is um, using tools and resources to get where you need to be. So this is, um, um, it can be networks, um, you know, that you're involved with um, or influential people or um, connecting with um, other structures that can help you. Um, it can also be about putting systems in place or, um, you know, other tools, uh, things that re resources that you have at your disposal. But it is also about being very driven, about actually goal setting, determination, not giving up, um, very ambitious energy. Um, it can be a little bit workaholic as well or just purely work focused and not thinking or, or getting involved in anything else. Um, so it depends where you are in the world, what's happening in your life. Um, for some people really um, that are able to work at this time and they're just focusing on that because there's not much else going on socially. So, you know, it just depends on, on your situation. But it's saying that just keep a balance here, especially with this house, because it's both. It's the work life and it's the home, you know, the sort of routines around your health and your diet and your well-being um, and your lifestyle. So just keep a balance there. But it's saying that if you are... If you are um, in this mode where you are goal setting and you have systems in place and you are determined uh, and working towards what it is that you want um, and putting everything in, in, in you know, building foundations, doing all that, it's just saying keep going. It's reiterating that um, and it's saying blossoming. So do not give up. All right. You're just getting started. Have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Um, Irakura is, is all about blossoming. So this is really just that that flower opening up. It's just the bud bud stage and it's only just um, still growing, you know, still still coming into flower. So, um, but if you haven't, you, if you're not really um, in this uh, mode at the moment where you're getting yourself organized, then now is the time to bring in systems. Now is the time to build a foundation. Um, Sagittarians sometimes can be um, so busy looking at the bigger picture. Um, sometimes details escape them. So just be careful that um, you are bringing those details in, that you are actually um, having a structure in place about how you're going to achieve what it is you've set your heart to. Make sure that you are goal oriented and that you are working steadily towards um, what you want. It's just about bringing those those qualities in. Um, and, um, you know, and it can also be it can also be about situations or um, a lifestyle that you admire or something that you want but just don't be all work no play um, have and uh, have not have any fun or not have any downtime now your downtime, downtime can be spent in any way but it's saying to you that you need to just be focusing a bit on your health and your diet and your well-being and your lifestyle as well as your workplace um, because uh, the two need to be in balance okay um, the one holds the hand with the other um, it can also be that you have um, are you in, a, in a, an environment where, a work environment where um, there's a lot of Capricornian energy? This could be um, very much business oriented um, or you need to bring the uh, business principles into what it is that you're doing. Um, now, we've also got here um, Seven of Autumn, which was the bottom of the um, fairy tarot. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. Uh, prudent investment of time or money. All right, so this is um, what I was saying about the sixth house. That's why I'm bringing this card in now because it's saying that you need to balance both sides. Um, be, be prudent with your time and your energy. So this is being discerning about where you put your time, where you put your energy um, and um, you know where, where you're going to invest. Uh, and this is not necessarily just monetarily. Obviously, it's um, work related, but this is also investing in your health and your well-being. You know, research. Do your do your research very, very thoroughly, um, and be be pristine about your health and your diet because that is going to support you. You know, your health is wealth. All right, health is wealth, and uh, Capricorns are always about building that. But. Um, Health is wealth. So make sure that your health and your diet and your well-being and your lifestyle supports um, whatever it is that you may be driven to be working on at this time. Or you may just be working very long hours. So make sure that this is being balanced at this time. Um, avoid worry and overanalyzing or getting too stuck in material things, which sometimes can come in with the Capricorn energy. Um, just make sure that you've got balance. Lighten up. And bring in um, things which are going to help you, you know, get in the fresh air, get, uh, you know, spend time in nature, do healthy and enjoyable things to balance the energies. 
Now with Orakira, um, in some cases, this can also be, uh, for some of you, this may be relevant, where it's saying that you, if you are struggling uh, with certain things or you are um, have got a heavy work workload and you just feel emotionally or physically drained sometimes, then you can um, um, rely on floral essences or flower essences to help you. They work on many levels um, in, the, in the human body. Um, and that's emotional, mental and physical. Um, so you can, you know, Bach flower remedies or even essential oils. Make sure that you have a massage if you can, just to keep yourself, um, you know, um, you keep your consciousness high, keep your vibration high so that you don't slip into tiredness or exhaustion. That would help you with that. Also gardening, spending time in nature. Um, and uh, depending on where you are in the world, um, you know, the floral kingdom is wonderful. Get out there, uh, plant a few things, get your hands in the soil if you can. And uh, that will help to balance your energies as well. Now, we've also got here um, Ninth House. So this is the house of all things foreign, all things international. So this can be business related um, or it can also be um, travel related. Um, or it can be just in contact with people who are foreign or who are um, have different culture to you. It can be that. Um, but it's also got a, a big adventurous and exploration aspect to it. So this is um, having a sense of adventure, having a sense of um, exploration about you. So whether this is physically or whether this is within your um, business realm um, or other areas which I'll get to, but it can also be to do with um, studying. So this can be higher education, uh, this can be university level education, but it can also be adult education. It's also understanding or coming to the truth within uh, the realm of philosophy, uh, religion, belief systems. Um, and be belief systems are, are getting a very thorough overhaul in the world at this time. So I don't think there's anybody that's not affected by that right now. So, you know, do your research, find out for yourself, um, do explorations in that um, and, um, and, and, and look things up and actually expand your knowledge, you know, expand your knowledge, find out things, do your research, do your, you know, your, your, you know, your uh, due diligence. Um, it's also about intuitive processes. So this is also bringing that in to what it is that you may be looking at or you may be sort of just sort of um, trying to find out about, um, you know, use your use your knowledge. Use your um, intuitive abilities to discern the truth. OK, that's going to be very, very important uh, with this. Um, also, this is the house of um, um, uh, publishing. So that may be important for you. It's also uh, teaching. It rules teaching. That may be important for you. Also, public relations or promotional work that may be coming in for you as well. It's also the house of law and um, the higher courts. So as I said, legal things may be coming in because you have got Mart Fairness here. And um, this is about uh, legal issues um, and everything around that. Um, there could be negotiation. There could be mediation. All this could be coming in for you in this um, in this in this house. Um, so intuitive processes is also very much about seeking the truth, as I said. Um, faith and wisdom also comes into this, and working that out for yourself. You know, what is your faith? Where is your wisdom? Um, understanding your intuitive uh, side and also seeking truth. In some cases, on a very practical level, it can also be to do with your relationship to your in-laws. Right? We've got the fourth house here, so that may be relevant uh, for some of you as well. Um, prophecy can also come in with the ninth house. So uh, for some of you, that may also be important, trying to understand where the world's headed right now, uh, belief systems in place, and so on. Now we've got here um, uh, cancer, I feel. Um, and you've got, uh, as I said, Mart fairness um, coming in. So Mart is saying here, um, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So this is saying to you that um, whatever is going down right now, um, uh, there's negotiation involved, mediation. Um, it could be legal as in, um, you know, a contract um, or something that you're trying to publish or something you're working on. Um, it could even be teaching, but it could also obviously be um, education related. So higher education, you may be um, going through some, some sort of process or you may be even studying the law. Um, but if it is a legal situation, there's, there's something about it which um, is requiring you at this time to put your case forward, um, your point of view, how you think um, things should unfold, um, 
or you know if if it's something that you you know you're actually pushing forward you are the one that's uh, bringing the case um to bear then as i said put your 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 case forward and um make it um do everything you can to um to get it on the right track but it also is saying to detach from a specific outcome or having an agenda uh with regards to this because um you're basically going to get in your own way so rather detach from any outcome or detach from any agenda let the universe handle it um goddess mart will take care of it and a fair and um a just uh, situation will come from this um legality or this legal contract or situation but your emotions are going to be high all right cancer is i feel <clears throat> i feel um <clears throat> it's ruled by the moon so emotions are high um, and there could be, um, as I said, all kinds of things going on. You may be seeing things very clearly or not very clearly at all. It depends on your situation. But this is about using your instincts, all right? Um, and um, you, it's coming into that ninth house, which is also about the house of intuition. So whatever it may be, legal or otherwise, or some mediation or some negotiation, you know, emotions will be high. Make sure that you um, come back to um, a neutral position. Um, and detach from any agenda or um, a specific outcome. Put your case forward and then let the universe uh, take care of it. Um, especially if your intentions are pure, then things will go um, as they're supposed to go. Um, and um, it could also be just watch your moods, watch your um, your demeanor. Um, you could be a little bit touchy at the moment with this energy. And um, it, you may just need to withdraw periodically to get yourself balanced. Okay, um, Be like the crab, go within and um, spend time uh, just, uh, you know, protecting yourself from all the storms and things that may be going on around you. It may be contentious what is going on. Uh, but this is about, you know, going through the process, but also being resourceful, being utilizing everything around you at this time to help and assist you and the process. And as I said, with the Capricorn energy, be resourceful. All right. That's what this is about. And um and it's a very important energy because this can be emotional resourcefulness. It can be mental resourceful. It can be um, sort of uh, materially, um, but also be, you know, support yourself, your health and your diet comes up again with this. You know, look after your body, look after yourself during this process. It could be quite difficult what you're going through, or it could just be that there's a lot going on and you just don't want to, you know, get into an exhaustive, exhaustive state. All right. Emotions will be, you know, you will be busy. There will be a lot going on. And um, it's also about using your instincts to guide you through uh, through at this time. Your instincts and your intuition. Um, and be resilient, you know. Have that inner source of power, which is going to get you through no matter what. All right. Um, it can also be about um, uh, female things or a feminine influence coming in here. Uh, feminine wisdom, feminine understanding, or a feminine view on things, which is more nurturing and um, receptive. So if you are a masculine, it's about tapping into that um, feminine side of yourself, or you may be involved with another feminine in your environment, perhaps it's to do with the situation. Um, so you're tapping into that, or you could just be um, experiencing feminine wisdom at this time, whether it's from yourself or whether you're seeing it. Um, or you just need to tap into it in some way. Birth may also be coming in with this as well, but um, it's it's like birthing situations or bringing something into the you know in, in, to bear. But health and diet, nurturing, all of that comes in here, and the phases of the moon. So that means things are cyclical as well, um, and um, sometimes things under the light of the moon become clear. So something could be rising up to be seen now at this time. And uh, but going going with the emotional ups and downs and what everything that's happening, just stay neutral, stay within yourself, retreat when you need to. Um, you could also be very nostalgic or sentimental at this time, looking back at things. Um, you can you can do that. You can bring the wisdom and the understanding forward, but you can't live there. All right. This is about moving forward. This is about making decisions to move you forward or um, whatever is going on in this house. Um, this is about the future. The ninth house moving forward in some way expanding expanding yourself in some way and um so your rear view mirror is small for a reason 
all right, you can look back and you can, um, you know, enjoy a bit of nostalgia and a bit of sentimentality, but leave it there. Don't bring it forward. You need to move forward now. And that's why I say look after your health, look after yourself, be new neutral um, and go with the, be able to ride the waves, be resilient and be resourceful about your time and your energy um, and, um, and just look after yourself during this uh, phase. Um, what you're ultimately looking for is the harmony aspect, which is why this card has um, come up. So you, you want to aim for that, all right? You want to be um, sort of in a harmonious phase, and this is where you stay neutral, all right? So riding the ups and downs, but do it in a, in a, in a powerful way. So be resilient, be resourceful, look after yourself, stay focused, um, and don't dwell in the past, because if you do that, you become depressed, all right? So aim for harmony, aim for harmony in this negotiation or this situation that's unfolding or this contract or whatever it is that's, um, you know, any legal situation. Aim for harmony, stay present um, and just go with what needs to be done. Um, but, um, you know, uh, but, be, but, but follow your intuition and your instincts at this time. Now we've got here... Um, Mercury retrograde uh, reinvention. So now this is um, a, a, a sort of a, a, an energy that's going to come in at some point um, in this process. So now, um, in some ways, depending on where it, it could be work related, um, or it could be to do with this situation, or it could be in some other way. But it's saying that um, this is a you're going to be going through a period of introspection. All right. So this is going inward. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, um, going over your plans again or looking at something again. Something needs to be gone over. Something needs to be looked at again, um, reassessed, anything with a re in front of it. So this can also be reinvention of yourself through this process. All right. So you could be going off to study somewhere and you're going to be reinventing yourself. Um, but some part of the process, just go over it again. Make sure that you checked, uh, triple checked everything. Check your legal documents. Um, and just don't sign anything too quick um, because there may be aspects of it which are not known or are not clear and they need to be looked at again. Um, this energy could last for a period of a week or maybe more um, during the course of the month or it could be for a wee bit longer. Um, but it's normally um, you, you, you get this energy when your communications are not clear for some reason. You get misunderstood or misinterpreted or some aspect is not clear. It can also be things like messages don't get sent or emails um, go into the draft box and don't get sent or electronic mes electronic messages don't get sent. Things like that. Things can just go wrong. It can also apply to electronics uh, and so on. So some aspect of this um, could get a little bit, uh, go a bit awry. Um, there can also be a bit of a delay coming in. Something is delayed, but it's, it's probably necessary because you need to go back over something again. You need to look at something again and uh, go over it. Um, and once you've done that, once you've been through that introspective uh, phase and gone over the paperwork again or gone over the process again or your plans, then what it will do, it will, um, it will actually, uh, you'll be able to um, come up with something much better on the other side of that process, that going over process again, review, repeat, redo, uh, re, you know, whatever it may be. And, um, and once the energy is passed, then you can move ahead with a big launch or a big plan or a big purchase. Um, but just avoid it while this energy is in play, all right? And um, just, just, um, just uh, you know, lay your plans and do your preparations. Um, and um, it can also be that somebody uh, comes back into your life or a situation comes back into your life from the past. Now, normally... Um, that is very helpful to you because what it does is it actually um, gives you closure on something or it um, gives you useful information um, or you hear news or something comes to you which is going to be um, important for you or it's going to give you closure or it's going to um, some, something's going to fall into place once you've had this discussion or you've got that news or you've received this information. However it comes with it comes through this person. This person may just be around for a while. Um, it may be a passing thing or it could be a little bit longer, but something is uh, some sort of um, uh, something is uh, getting sorted out uh, during that conversation or when that situation arises again. But there could be a few delays and a few frustrations. Um, so it's, it's not a, it's not the best time to be launching big things or making big purchases. Just hold fire until this energy has passed. 
Um, sometimes you you know things can get lost, like you can leave your keys somewhere and things like that, or electronics can break down. So you know that these things can happen with uh, Mercury retrograde. Now we've got here um, fourth house roots. So this is the house of home, family, um, everything to do with that. It's the actual house, the physical home, um, or it is where you are currently residing. Um, or it can also be to do with your um, your connection with your family, uh, your roots, your foundation, your family life, your ancestry, your ethnic identity. So it's your connection, your, your relationship with your family. Um, and um, so... In the fourth house, it, it, it can also be within your own home. Um, this can also be uh, the relationship to the people in your home um, and the atmosphere in your home. So everything to do with that. Now it's saying here, um, Virgo, I analyze. So there are facts and figures to be looked at. Maybe there are documents to be, things to be written, but it's weighing things up, sifting and sorting, clearing, clear the clutter. Okay, this is what this is about. Clear the clear the clutter. You may be going through a move or some sort of change um, in your environment and it's saying that you need to, to declutter, get rid of everything that is no longer serving you, it's not useful, you haven't used it for years, um, you know, whatever how, whatever category it falls into. If it's not useful or beautiful or you haven't used it recently, then uh, it's time to, um, to move it on, to recycle it or whatever. It's about using that analytical energy to actually clear away things that no longer serve you, things that are not going to bring you joy and happiness um, or are not useful. So make sure that you, you're using that. Um, it's a discerning quality. Um, it's, it's a very discerning quality. And it's also about um, health and diet and well-being again. And, and this comes in uh, looking after your health. And this comes in because of the fourth house. So there may be changes going on or perhaps somebody's coming in or somebody's going out. And it's about making sure that you um, are looking after your well-being. All right. Um, be discerning. Discerning. Discernment is really a, a, a key feature of Virgo. Um, it's also about um, sifting and sorting. So this is analyzing things. This is weighing things up. Um, but you don't want to go too much. You don't want to go into it too much and become overly critical or um, get stuck in your head where you overanalyze anything. Um, and you also want to um, not be nitpicking about things, all right? So don't go too much in that direction. Be discerning. Be, um, uh, you know, go into a sort of a practical con advisory capacity or um, constructive. Be constructive, but don't slip over into criticizing and nitpicking. Um, it can also be that um, from, a, from a, a mindset point of view, it can be too worrying as well. Worrying um, excessively. Um, and this is... Um, this is uh, actually an, a, a part of the ego and you need to let go of that because worry just brings more things to worry about. All right. It's an energy. It manifests as more things to worry about or you will manifest the thing, that, the exact same, the, the exact same thing that you are actually trying to avoid or you that you're worrying about. You're going to manifest it by constantly giving it energy. OK, so be discerning. Don't give thing, your energy to things that are not um, what you want. All right. Just let go of that and focus only on what is important for you at this time. With the Diana focused intention, so um, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. All right. So focused intention. All right. So have a have a target in mind in this house, in this fourth house um, and draw back your bow, but but focus on that and um, your whole being must be focused on the point of that arrow, all right? So let go of um, fears, let go of worries, um, and all, all extra things and other things going on that detract you from that goal, all right? And, um, and, let, and don't worry about uh, naysayers and skeptics and all of the other negativity that goes with it, all right? Unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and then you will make your mark. It's a very positive energy, very strong energy, but it's 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 about focus. It's about staying on your goal. That's another reason why you've got Capricorn here, because this is very much goal oriented. This is very uh, much about staying on this path with dogged determination, and um, this is certainly about that. And um, you need to you need to do that in order to bring this about whatever it is that you're working on here. And then we've got here ten of summer. An emotionally uh, fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Okay, so um, so this is saying that um, 
Ten of Cups, uh, basically, this is a lovely energy. This is this is uh, an abundant life. This is a beautiful life. This is your dreams come true. This is the most fulfilling, happy relationship, family life that you can have, the Ten of Cups, all right? It really is a beautiful, wonderful thing to be coming. So I do feel that this is what you want to bring into your life. This is what you're, you're aiming for. Um, uh, you know, and this is what you this is what you're trying to manifest for yourself. So do not give up. Do not um, do not let this uh, slip away through worry or um, lack of focus. All right. Um, this is this is the ultimate uh, family life, home, abundance, joy, happiness, love, all of those things. This is what you want. This is what you want to manifest. This is what you want to bring into your life. And you can only really do this through being 100 um, percent clear. Um, on what you, what you, what it is you need to achieve and all the steps that you need to take and this is the dream that you can manifest it's in your it's in your chart this is what you will manifest for yourself beautiful card so we've also got here uh, mother mary expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered so this is ultimately um what it is uh, you know say your prayers put your requests out to the universe and um, mother mary has got your back so expect a miracle um and, um, you know, do your prayers, do your affirmations, do whatever it is and have belief that it is going to manifest. This is the dream you want to manifest, the, you know, the wonderful family life, home life, that beautiful dream that, um, you know, th that you're aiming for. This is what you want to manifest. So do your work. Um, let go of worry. Be conscientious. Follow your instincts um, and um, don't give up and you will get there. You know, the universe has got your back. So. Um, I feel that this is this is going to manifest for you and um, just have faith and trust in the universe that this is what what is going to come in for you. Take care. Have a wonderful month. Um, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care.